Hey everybody, Dave here from Trust Studios. And today I want to cut down this kale that I let go to seed in this grow pipe. Um, normally, I believe you would just, if it was in soil, you would just wait until all the pods dried out like this. But I want to get these out of this pipe because I want to get another batch of kale started in here. Um, this has been in here almost a year now. Um, so I'm going to cut these all down. I think the seeds are mostly uh, mostly formed out and mostly nice and full. Still have some some that are immature up at the top here. But overall I got a lot, I'll have quite a bit of seed out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut them down. And I think I'm just going to tie them up with some jute and hang them. Uh, hang them in the studio. Maybe make a little cardboard tray or something underneath them. Um, but anyway, so, and then I gotta, you know, probably cut these out. I might have to use a Sawzall or something. These are going to be tough to get out of this pipe. But we'll see how that goes. So let me go ahead and cut all this down. Okay, so I got myself a nice piece of cardboard to put this on. I hear my dogs going crazy in the, in the house because they think I'm somebody else. Um, but I'll get back to cutting all this down. We'll get this cleaned out of here. And I'll start some new kale babies tonight. These I'll just let hang until they're nice and brown. And then I'll try to break these up over a you know, cardboard box or something and separate them out. And we'll have some new, some more kale seed here. This will grow a lot of kale. And I can use some for microgreens. So this is the first time I've grown um, kale in the grow pipe. Or well last year, you know, and uh, did really well. Grew all grew for a whole year. Before it finally went to seed in spring. Um, yeah, so I definitely want to do another pipe full of kale because it, it lasts so long and it's it's tolerant to cool temperatures. Just a very very good plant. This was a you know um, red Russian kale. It's an heirloom plant. And uh, there you have it. We have a, a nice stack there. I think I'm going to go ahead and get my, um, I'm going to get my reciprocating saw to cut these out. And I'll, I'll give you guys a close-up of some of these. And we'll see if we can get them out of there. I don't want to damage the pipe. And I just tie this whole bundle up so that we can, we can hang all these up and let them dry out. and then I'll tie myself a loop to hang it with. So, I don't claim to have any knowledge of what I'm doing. This is the first time I'm doing it, so I'm just doing what I think is right. And if anybody knows a better way, feel free to let me know. But uh, like I said, I wanted to get it out of the pipe so I could get another grow in there. And uh, I think this will work out okay. I think I'll be able to dry these up and uh, get some good seeds from them. So there we go. We have a nice batch of kale here. I'm going to go bring this in the studio and hang it up. 
come out with the saw. Okay, hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I got that all tied up. I don't know how the camera angle was before. Hopefully you could see me. Um, but anyway, and maybe some of you remember in uh, previous vi videos I did where I cut this down last fall before I brought it into the studio. That's why it, it grew multiple branches um, after I cut the main stem down. Um, but I did it with this um, reciprocating saw. So I'm going to saw these off and then see if I can... Maybe I'm better off just trying to break them out. I want to clear that half... It's only a half inch hole that these were in. Um, that one broke off. But it looks like I might need like a razor knife or something to clean these up. Um, let me go ahead and cut, cut these off closer. At least get rid of some of this. These are very, you know, hard woody stems. Like that's the way to go. I don't want to scratch the pipe up. But... Looks like if I can get closer, it'll be easier to punch those in. Yeah, I started to scar up my pipe, so we definitely don't want to do that. We don't want to mess up the pipe. So it looks like now I'll have to get like a nail punch or something. Actually, that one's going down in there. Let me show you guys. So I was able to push this one in. And once I, if I can push them in, then I can, once I take those end caps off, I'll be able to clean everything out. I'm curious to see what this stuff looks like after it's been in there a year, almost a year. There, I'm able to push these push these roots in with the screwdriver. I did uh, scar up the pipe a bit here. Let me come back. I think I got my brightness up too much. No, there we go. Right, that one went in. So I'm getting these knocked in. And I'm going to go ahead and um, put down the camera for a minute and get those end caps off so we can see what the heck comes out of here. How the roots look if there was any algae in there or what was going on. Okay, I've got them all clear. And I loosened my end cap here, so I'm going to pop this end cap off and see if we can't dump everything out of it. All those roots. Let's see what we got in there. We've got quite a quite a root mass in there. Looks like a loaf of thing. A loaf of sponge. Anyway, oh so that's what it looks like. The the roots look brownish, but they don't look in any way uh unhealthy, no algae at all. That doesn't appear to have any rot, although they look brown. Uh, definitely no no smell or anything, no problem there. So uh, the grow pipe worked pretty good with this Kratke style um, setup. So anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna end the video here, or you know, in a minute. I just wanted to uh, show you guys the process. Of course, I'm going to clean this all up. You guys don't need to see that. Um, but I'm going to clean it up and then 
I'm going to do the same thing again this year. This is about the time I got my kale in there last year. So I'll get some started tonight and we'll get it in there in a week or two. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I hope you all have a great day. Take care.